with a video on my holy grail favorite hair products. I get a lot of questions on what some of my favorite hair products are and I show them in favorites but I thought that I would um, show you just a lot of products that I'm really loving that are for your hair. So if you've watched me for any length of time you guys know that I have extensions in. My real hair is about down to here. My extensions extend quite a bit longer than that. My hair is naturally like a sandy, dirty blonde shade, and I do dye it. I go get it done professionally now. I go through periods where I go and decide to dye my own hair, but I'm lightening it a little bit with some highlights because it was really, really dark a few months back. So I have a bunch of products here that I really love, and they kind of range from drugstore to high end. A lot of stuff I get at TJ Maxx, to be completely honest. So yeah, I will um, kind of show you what some of my favorites are. This is also going to be a collab video with the beautiful Wendy or Bentley Blonde here on YouTube. You guys all know who she is. She is no longer blonde though. She is now brunette and so I'm excited to see what some of her new favorites are. But yes, we're both doing a video on what our favorite hair care products are. So if you want to see what my favorite hair care products are, then just stay tuned. First, we'll start with shampoo. Shampoo and conditioner, I honestly am not super picky. Uh, I really like the Herbal Essence brands. I do, I mean, I bought high-end and I bought drugstore. I don't really see a difference. One of my favorite lines, though, is the L'Oreal Everstrong. These are their sulfate-free hair and scalp systems. This one happens to be the thickening shampoo and conditioner. I've tried the like smoothing, volumizing, hydrating. I really like this line. They smell really good and I really like them. So if you haven't tried those out, I recommend those. Again, the herbal essence ones, I love pretty much every scent. I even do the Garnier Fructis ones, but if I were to pick drugstore ones, my favorite would be the L'Oreal Ever, what is this called? Ever Strong, as well as the herbal essence. And then for a deep conditioner, I do like, there's a few products I'll mention that I just don't have with me because I finished them up and haven't repurchased them yet. But the Aussie Three Minute Miracle is a great one. It's inexpensive, it's like four or five dollars. And it's a great like everyday conditioner if you wanna use it for that, if you have really dry damaged hair, or it's a really great just three minute mask to do, you know, two or three times a week. I have ran out of mine, but I do have the Macadamia Nut Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. I really like this. Everyone talks about how good it smells. I don't particularly enjoy the smell of it. I don't think it smells bad, but I don't, I'm not like in love with the scent of it. I always wait to purchase mine though until Target has its bulk sale. So they'll say two for, um, two for the price of one. So you get two for 30 bucks. Otherwise they're $30 on their own, which is quite expensive. I do not know when Target has those sales. I just happen to, every time I go to Target, just wander through the hair care section and they're usually like on the end caps or they're where these are down on the bottom shelf. So just keep your eye out for them. That's when I always pick them up, the two for 30 or the two for one deal. But I really like this. It's a great hydrating mask. I use it, I shower, wash my hair every other day. So every other shower is when I use this. It makes my hair super soft, it really helps manage any tangles or anything, so I really do love this and highly recommend it. Definitely, if you can, just pick it up when they're the two for, two for one. All right, so then for kind of hair styling products, detanglers, leave-in conditioners and stuff, my all-time favorite is the, it's a 10, I don't have it, I'm out. I'm having to finish my other ones up before I can repurchase it. I love the it's a 10 and the it's a 10 plus keratin is my favorite. So I highly recommend those. I usually purchase mine on salonsavings.com because you can get the big, huge one for like $24 where like the little one is almost $20 if you buy it in like a salon. So I highly recommend the It's a 10 and the It's a 10 plus keratin and kind of alternate between the two of those. And again, salonsavings.com is where I always purchase mine. But the ones I'm using now that I really like, this one I purchased at TJ Maxx and it is the Soy Tri Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. I've gone through probably, I've gone through two of these already. This one's almost gone. I think there's about this much left in it. It's a really great detangler, leave-in conditioner. Leaves my hair nice and soft. And I just spray this in and like my comb goes right through my hair, no tangles or anything. And I got it for $10 at TJ Maxx. And they're usually like $16.95 according to the sticker here. So I highly recommend this if you're looking for a good detangler. Always check out TJ Maxx because they have really good name brand stuff for inexpensive. Now the other one that I've been using and my um, friend who does my extensions actually bought this for me and it's the Extend Keratin Reparative Magic Potion from Simply Smooth and I thought that this was going to be like a spray but it's actually 
um, like a cream gel that you put in, you know, you put in your hand and then you run it through your hair. It smells really good. It has keratin in it, so you don't want to use it after every shower, maybe once a week or once or twice a week, depending on how often you wash your hair. But it makes your hair super soft. Like I can tell a huge difference between using this and using this. This makes my hair just so soft. I used it today and I just felt like my hair was just so smooth and not like weighed down or anything, but I just felt a difference in the texture and the feel of my hair. It just felt a lot more bouncy and smooth. So I really like this. I'm not too sure where you can purchase the Simply Smooth, but I'm sure if you Google it, you can find it. And it's the Magic Potion. So I recommend that. It is really good. I love it. And you only need like a, maybe a pump and a half for my length of hair. And like I said, you use it maybe once a week. Some dry shampoos that I love. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo Dark and Deep Brown Hair. I love the Batiste. I have been using the brown. I didn't know that they had a dark and deep brown. So that's super exciting. And I get TJ Maxx is where I pick mine up for six bucks. I think they're usually around $10 or so. I love this. It doesn't give a white cast. I feel like it really does absorb any oils in my hair. And you can even use it just as a refresher if it's been, you know, you maybe washed your hair that morning. It's a hot day. Your hair is kind of like limp and not have much volume. Just kind of spray it in your roots. And it smells nice. It smells kind of like cologne. So I really like this. They have a bunch of different scents and different flavors. So check out TJ Maxx because I've found, I have like eight backups of Batiste stuff like the dry shampoo, not the dark brown. I've only seen it there once, but they have like a fun flirty, a floral, tropical. I mean, they have all different different kinds and for six bucks and it lasts a long time and I've never had it run out of like the aerosol like some of the other dry shampoos I have. So I like that. Oh, and it doesn't make your hair feel gunky, which is good. Now, a dry shampoo that does make your hair feel kind of crazy. This is the Big and Sexy Hair Volumizing Dry Shampoo. I love this stuff because it gives you like insane amount of volume. However, this is one of those products that you will want to wash your hair the next day. You do not want to use this. Like if you go like three days without washing your hair, this is not a dry shampoo that you want to use on day two because it does make your hair feel a little weird, like gunky-ish. Um, it gives it volume and it doesn't look gunky, but to the touch, like you know when you use those like powder those powder volumizers, like it kind of gives you that tacky feeling. This kind of gives you that tacky feeling, but it gives you crazy, crazy volume. So I recommend like using this on the last day of your, before you wash your hair. It gives you such good volume though. So that's why I really love it, but the, you gotta get used to the feeling. So if you do your hair straight, I would not recommend this for straight hair. If you do hair in like big curls or even something like this, I would recommend it, but if you like have pin straight hair and you're looking for a good dry shampoo, I would not suggest this for pin straight hair. Textured hair or curly volumized hair, yes, but not pin straight, but I do like it. Okay, then for some ar like argan oils or stuff like that, my all-time favorite is the Marrakesh Moroccan oil, which I have shown in numerous videos in the past. I am out and I have some other ones I have to use at first, but um, again, I get that off salonsavings.com. It smells like gingerbread. It is so good. It's the best argan oil I have found ever. It's the one that I see the most results in, in the condition of my hair. So that's the Marrakesh argan oil, and I'll link it down below too. Um, but the other one that I've been using that I like is the Macadamia Healing Oil Treatment. Again, I get this the two for one at Target, and I really like this. It, it smells good. I do feel a difference with this in my hair where some like other products that claim to be argan oil don't really do anything for me. So I really like this one. So if I wasn't going to have my Marrakesh one, this is what I would use. And um, once I finish these two, I will be probably just repurchasing the Marrakesh one. But if you're looking for a good oil treatment, this is the healing oil treatment from Macadamia. And I do really like it. And I like that it has a pump so too. Some volumizing, oh, let's see. Yeah, volumizing products. I'm kind of all over, so I apologize. Uh, a couple volumizers that I really love. This one I got on clearance at Target, and this is an oldie but goodie. I used to use this all the time back in the day. It's the Matrix Amplify Root Lifter. Love this. It's usually 17 bucks at Target. I got it for 11 Really, really like this. I used it today. It gives you great volume without weighing your hair down. It doesn't make your um, roots feel dirty or like sticky or gunky. I love it because it's just really light. Like my roots, I used it today, like I said, and my roots are really light, fl like fluffy, but not like out of control. But it gives a great amount of volume. Really, really like this. 
another one that I really love, this is a product that I only use if I'm gonna do like curly hair where I, I, there won't be, like when I do my hair curly, I don't ever like run my fingers through my hair like this. <laughs> when it's straight like this, I tend to go like this a lot more, but if it's curly, I never do that. So this is the product I use for that because this product you do not wanna be like running your fingers through because it's just a hot mess, kinda like the same thing with this product. This is the Bedhead Totally Baked Volumizing and Prepping Hair Meringue. I love this stuff. It smells like like lemon bakery deliciousness. It smells super good. It's a foam. Definitely something that you want if you're not going to be like fidgeting and fussing with your hair. Gives you a crazy amount of volume. Makes your like any style you do to your roots like stay. Like your hair will not budge. I love it. Gives tons and tons of volume, but it does kind of give that tacky feeling. So it's not, like I said, not a product that you want to be running your fingers through your hair, running your fingers through your scalp. It's kind of one of those that it's perfect for hairstyles that you're not going to be um, messing or fussing with. So I purchased this again, salonsavings.com is where I get this stuff. Holy Grail volumizer for my roots. I can't find a place inexpensive to get this. I get mine at just a local beauty salon. It's like 26 bucks. It's the Alterna Bamboo Volume 48 Hour Sustainable Volume Spray. It's by far like my favorite volumizer. I feel like it gives me the most amount of volume that's very touchable, soft, and but it, I feel like I go through it really fast. And it's like a spray and this is going to be my second one. So I haven't started using this yet because I got to use up some of my other volumizers. But this is definitely my holy grail volumizer. Expensive, not a whole lot of product, but the volume that it gives you is just crazy and it just, I love it. So if you don't mind forking out, you know, 26, 27 bucks for a really good root lifter volume, if you have really limp hair, highly recommend checking this one out. It's the Bamboo Volume 48 Hour Sustainable Hair Volume Spray. Or okay. a heat protectant, my all time favorite. Again, I purchased that at TJ Maxx, I think for like $10. It's the Chi Iron Guard, 44 Iron Guard. This is my favorite, I love the smell. I love that it doesn't make my hair feel soaking wet. Like some sprays, I feel like I spray it in my hair and even if I do like a light mist, I feel like my hair is all damp and wet. This I feel gives a really nice mist. I actually feel like it's kind of protecting my hair. Who knows if heat protectants actually work, but I feel like this one actually does work. And again, I purchased all mine at TJ Maxx. I think I have like three of these on backup. Another styling product. Again, I purchased that at TJ Maxx, I'm telling you. Six dollars, this is the Mega Whip Whipped Marshmallow Hair Texturizer. I love this, it smells like marshmallows, and it's just a um, kind of like thick pomade. Oh, it smells so good, it smells so sweet. And I love this for when I do my hair curly, like in the really tight curls like you saw in a few videos back. I love that for just kind of piecing them out um, taming down any like frizziness that you may get from them. Just gives them really fun texture and smells really, really good. So um, I do, I know they have this at the salonsavings.com because I was almost gonna purchase it like the last three orders I've done. But then when I saw them at TJ Maxx, I like jumped on that bandwagon. So I really love this. I think it'd be great for guys' hair too, but I really love it just for when my hair is curly and just kind of making it the curls a little bit more defined, tame down any frizziness, it's really good. And then last but not least, my favorite hairspray, purchased from TJ Maxx. This is the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Touchable Hairspray. I got it for 10 bucks, it's usually around $18. It's, it says it has argan oil in it. Uh, it is exactly what it says. It makes your hair very touchable, it doesn't make it crispy, crunchy, but it holds a curl like there's no tomorrow. So I really love this, this is my Holy Grail hairspray. I, my Holy Grail used to be the Kenra, but I like this better than the Kenra one. So. Check out TG Maxx. I really love the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy line. The one product I do not like from them was their Moroccan oil or Argan oil. <sighs> that stuff is crap. And if you look at the ingredients, there's nowhere on there that it even says it has Argan oil in it. So that's what I've been using and I noticed no change in my hair whatsoever. I didn't notice it doing anything. But the um, texturizing spray, the hair spray, the um, leave-in leave spray, all of those are really good. So I really like this line other than the argan oil, which is no good. So I hope this gave you guys some great ideas of some hair products to try out. If you've tried any of these, let me know. Let me know what some of your holy grail 
products are because I would love to know what some of your favorite hair products are. And don't forget to check out Wendy's video. I hope you guys are doing well and I'll talk to you later. Bye!